A Monmouth University poll out this week finds national support for a ban on the sale of assault weapons dropped since last year. Those surveyed were divided on the issue, 46 percent in support of and 49 percent opposed to those sales. Last year, a majority of the public favored the ban, 55 percent. And in Teaneck today, a rally dubbed Grandparents Against Gun Violence was led by former Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg with a group of residents from a senior living community who are speaking out against the tragic shootings involving young people. Weinberg is calling on federal lawmakers from New Jersey to take a stand and use their power to pass more gun reforms. She joins me now from the protest. Senator, clearly retirement not slowing you down. What's the message you were hoping to get across today? Well, after the events of the last couple of weeks where young people were shot because they made the mistake of ringing the wrong doorbell or they drove in the wrong driveway, the proliferation of guns in our country has gotten completely out of hand. We now have more children killed by guns than any other thing in the United States. So I feel that not only do we have good ex I'm doing an interview, bye, bye. so <laughs> you notice nobody's shy around here. <laughs> we get so. it. We know you're popular. <laughs> yeah. it, it, that. Not only do we have legislators who I know are on our side, our U.S. senators, our, our Congress people from New Jersey, by and large, but they need to speak up. They need to be making as much noise as the NRA does, as the pro-gun people do. And when you can get a group of 80 and 90-year-olds out here making signs, willing to stand here, willing to have their voices heard. It's a message to our own people here in New Jersey. We have children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews. We don't want them growing up in this kind of a country well, as someone, where the Senator, classroom who, is not safe. Yeah, I mean, as someone who led a number of gun reform uh, bills through the legislature, has this reached a pitch that you did not expect? Absolutely not. You know, I know New Jersey is a blue state, and I know the people I live among and, and worked among are uh, on the right side of this issue. But I did not expect to see this kind of a pro pro not only the proliferation of guns, but guns being owned by angry, scared people who, because somebody rings the wrong doorbell, they come out shooting. That's something that I never thought I was going to see in numbers here in the United States. Or it is not anything that I ever would have thought that I would say that more American children are killed by gun violence than any other reason in our country. That is mind-boggling. More than disease, more than car accidents. So we managed to get car seats. We managed to get uh, car belts. It's now time that we registered guns. We make sure that people are trained and that we ban the AR-15 and we have universal background checks. And I would like to hear Cory Booker and Bob Menendez and Josh Gottheimer raising their voices on those issues at every time and chance they get. I'm thinking, Senator, about that sweeping gun bill package you helped uh, get through before you left office. Did it go far enough, or was there more you would have liked to have seen done before leaving the Senate? I think we've done a pretty good job in New Jersey, and I, and I think the numbers of gun violence victims we have, albeit still too many, but still lesser than a lot of other places. But this takes national work. Yeah. So uh, let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen in Washington, and let's make this a priority and start using tactics to say, look, I'm not voting for that bill if you don't put this gun safety bill for it. Those are the kinds of things I'd like to hear from our representatives. Retired uh, former Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Brianna.